Alright, so we're going to have a look at multiplying dividing by 10, 100, and 1000. So, success criteria for this, it looks like a lot, but it's very straightforward. And you'll figure out what's going on quite quickly when I show you. So, ask yourself the two questions bigger or smaller, how many places? Now, how you figure out the answer to these two questions, if you're multiplying, then it's bigger. If you're dividing, then it's smaller. And then, by how many places is by how many zeros there are in the number you're multiplying or dividing by. So 10, it would be one place. 100, two places, because it's got two zeros. And 1,000 would be three. Okay, so that's how you get the answers to these questions. Look at the question. Think bigger or smaller, so multiply is bigger, divide is smaller. How many places by how many zeros there are. Then when you've got those, answer, those two answers, if your answer is bigger, multiply, then add the same number of zeros that's in the question to the end of the number. So you do. So at the end, if you're multiplying by 10, you just add one zero. If you're multiplying by 100, you'd add two zeros to the end and so forth. Then after you do that, then what you're going to do is then you move the decimal point down the number of places. So the answer to this question. So if it was two places, you move the decimal point down two places and then that gives you the answer and then for this part here it's just the division so it's the reverse of what you've done for the multiply if the answer is smaller then add the same number of zeros so smaller which is divide then add the same number of zeros to the start of the number so if it's divided by 100 I'd add two zeros to the start of the number then move the decimal point up the number of places so the number of places in this one, if it was a thousand, would be three. So I move the decimal point up. One, two, three. And I'll show you what I mean by all this whenever we go through a couple of examples. So, first one. 7.3 times 100 and 7.3, so, sorry, 7.6 times 100 and 7.6 divided by 100. So, number one, ask myself, bigger or smaller? So it's going to get bigger. By how many places? It's got one zero, so it's going to get bigger by one place. So in my head, or even write it down, I know these two answers. So if the answer is bigger, I have to add the same number of zeros to the start of it. So I'm going to write it down here, 7.6. I have to add a zero to the, sorry, to the end of the number. So I'm going to put the zero here. Then I need to move the decimal point down one place so if I'm multiplying the decimal point moves down and this is the number of places it's going to move down so the decimal point moves from here get rid of it and it ends up here so my answer is 76.0 or let's get in the habit where actually this zero is worth nothing so let's just have our answer as 76 okay so the same for dividing ask yourself such a question bigger or smaller how many places? So bigger or smaller, it's going to be smaller. How many places? It's going to be one. So write my number, 7.6. Remember, if the answer is smaller, add the same number of zeros to the start of the number. So I'm going to put my zero here. Then, move the decimal point up the number of places. So my number of places is one, so I need to move the decimal point up one place. So my answer becomes 0 0.76 okay that's all it is let's try it with a couple more so I've got 1.23 times 100 1.323 divided by 100 so follow the rules first off bigger or smaller bigger how many places it's got two so bigger by two places so I'm going to write my number 1.23 now if the answer is bigger I have to add the same number of zeros to the end of the number so I'm going to put two zeros here just in case okay then I need to move the decimal down the number of places that I said so it needs to move down two places so one two so it's going to move from here to here which takes me to 123.00 and like we said we don't need the two zeros so that's just Get rid of them. So my answer would just be 123. And as the more you do this, the more you'll start to get it. And you might not even have to do these things. 
but you'll just start to figure it out. Remember, move. Does it get bigger or smaller? So if it's bigger, then the decimal place moves down. And by how many places is by how many places it's going to move down? How many zeros there are? So 1.23, bigger or smaller? So smaller. How many places? By two. Okay, so we'll do 1.23. So it's going to get smaller, so I need to add the number of zeros in the question to the start. So I'm going to go 1, 2. Now, I know it's going to get smaller by two places. So it's get smaller, decimal point moves up, so I get rid of the decimal point from there. Oh, 1, 2. And my decimal point ends up here. So my answer is 0 0.0123. And that's why we add those zeros on. Sometimes you don't need them. Sometimes you do. It's good just to have them in case. Let's do two more. Dividing and multiplying by 1,000. So 9.73 times 1,000. So first off, bigger or smaller? So I know it's bigger. How many places? I know it's 3. So I'm going to write my number, 97.3. Then I add the same number of zeros to the end of the number. Okay, one, two, three. Might need them, might not, but it's best to have them. Now, I know if, I'm, if it's bigger, that the decimal point is going to move down the way. And I know I have to move it three places. So I'll go one, two, three. So my decimal point will end up here. And my answer will be, 97,300 and there is a point zero in the end but we know that's not worth anything so we can just have this as our answer and let's do our division so again bigger or smaller so I know it's going to get smaller again how many number of places number of zeros by three places this time so write the number and let's go 97.3 now I need to add the number of zeros there is in the question to the start of my number. So I've got three zeros, I need to put that at the start of the number. And if it's getting smaller, that means that the decimal point moves it up the way. And it's going to get smaller by three, so I'm going to move the decimal point up three. One, two, three. So put my decimal point down, get rid of it here. So I don't need this number. So my answer would be zero. Point zero nine seven three, and that's how you would multiply and divide by ten, a hundred, and a thousand.